Hello guys, I have the quality of life February 2024 game update for you. Let's start! As you can see they added a new airborne critter condo building, giving a relaxation area for your adult puffs, gassy moves and shine bugs. It has a decor of plus 20 in a radius of 4 tiles. Similar to the critter condos, it will give a cozy plus 1 happiness bonus to your critter. Talking about critter, there is now a dedicated critter pick up building as well as a dedicated critter drop off building. The old buildings will still work in your save files though. Let's set this to all the critter and this here as well and check this out. The critter pickup building functions in a way that every critter that is above the maximum critter size that you set for the building will be captured and transported to one of these critter drop offs. They added sleetweed and nosh beans to the fish feeder. Another great change for the game and for the performance is that critter now prioritize food that is inside of the critter feeders and not the food that is lying on the floor here. Reducing some calculations and speeding up your game just a tiny bit. The move to errand is now a ranching errand when you try to move a critter. They added little portraits to the tasteful memorials. Super cute. Rest in peace Hassan. The tasteful memorials now also have a slightly positive decor. Plus 11 per tasteful memorial if you build them out of sandstone and plus 10 when built out of a normal material. They made the options menu cleaner and gave it tabs here. You can see there's the config menu where you no longer can select already diseased duplicates which is super helpful. You now have the material tab where you can just change the material of the building that you have selected. We can now make this gold amalgam which is super helpful and I absolutely love this feature. And we have the blueprint tab which now allows us to just change out everything that we have selected. Saving us a lot of deconstructing and reconstructing time. I absolutely love it. How easy was that? They also cleaned up the info tab here on the right. As you can see we now have a little symbol for the status the errands and the properties, making it easier to distinguish them. If you want to change out the blueprint of one of the selected buildings and you do not have them unlocked yet, you can press the see more blueprints in the supply closet button. It will directly send us to the buildings tab where we then can select potential blueprints. They also reduced the height of the errands side screen in the info tab. Dehydrated food now counts by unit instead of calories. So this is exactly one kilogram and not 1000 kilocalories. They renamed the corner molding and crown molding to corner trim and ceiling trim. They added a dream journal logo to the back of the Somnium Synthesizer Story Trade pajamas. Also, the Somnium Synthesizer pajama cubby now changed from being deconstructable to being demolishable. Remember, deconstructing something only needs construction and demolishing something needs the demolition skill here to the far right. They added the copy settings button to the light sensor. They finally gave the gas reservoirs a larger storage capacity, 1000 kilograms to be exact. And as you can see, they changed the art style a little bit. I think this finally makes them useful enough to replace some infinite storages in the game. The biobot builder now has a side screen button to drop the contents of the building. In this case, the steel that is inside. Dropped right here. The biobot builder also will no longer request the delivery of steel when the building is disabled. As you can see, we dropped the entire batch of steel and the building is not requesting any more steel to refill it. The biobot builder will now consume the steel required for the rover whenever the body of the rover is completed instead of when the rover is released, which makes more sense. The biobot builder will reset the crafting process of a rover body if the inventory is dropped mid-crafting. They significantly optimized critters trying to find food. They optimized critters searching for critter condos, water forts, critter fountains and critter traps. They improved the calculation of the critter moods. They optimized critters and duplicates seeking threats. They improved the performance of auto sweepers. They improved the performance of the research reactor in Spaced Out. They improved the performance of liquid and gas pipe systems. They improved the performance when the game is unpaused and when you're not looking at the resource screen. 
and reduce memory allocation of initializing the decor. They added many new blueprints in various categories. I think this artwork here is new. And so on and so forth. In the DLC only, the star map no longer zooms in and out when the mouse is not over the game window. I'm zooming right now, just so you know. They added a more descriptive status item for the star map rockets waiting in orbit for an eligible rocket platform. Destructive duplicates will no longer target invincible buildings when lashing out from stress. I like to disagree. And they also did a lot and a lot of fixes, which you can check for yourself in the update notes linked below. Thank you a lot for watching and a special thanks to all the patrons that you can see on the screen right now. Thank you all for your continued support. Love you guys and Luma out.